up YouTube welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel man this is your boy Anthony here back with another video and today man we got this beautiful third gen Camaro behind me man and you know it's not mine because I would have had one already you already seen on the channel but this is my boy never late right here this is his car he wanted wanted it on the channel I can't talk today man I'm tired man but this is his beautiful uh, baby right here, and we're going to get into it, man, so he can talk about his build, man. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Never late. Tell him about your build, and then we can just walk across your baby, man. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, I go by Never Late on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram, N-E-V-U-H-L-8. Um, okay. This is my 1992 uh, Chevy Camaro Z28. Ooh, okay. anniversary edition. Picked this up maybe about eight years ago. I was out there in Virginia. Okay. I was shopping around for something like this and uh, just hit, just added it to the cart and had it shipped over. Uh, so based on people that don't know like a lot about the third gen, because you know they big into like the the six years back there and they know all the details about this. But since this is like old school, one of my babies because this is the car I grew up in. Actually, not this particular one, but this gen. I grew up this uh, with this one. This one makes me get into the Camaros. So, like, what is, like, this paint color? Because I've never seen it growing up. So, is this the factory paint color or what? Yeah, it's the factory color. I don't exactly know what the color is called. I tried looking it up. I think it's, like, an aqua, some kind of aqua color. Okay, okay. Yeah. Factory stripes on there, too? Factory stripes. Everything on it is, is pretty much factory. Sheesh! Um, T-tops. Of course, you can't say no to the T-tops. It's, like, the main reason. I wish they could bring that back, man. Originally came with a 305 transmission, but the owner swapped it out for a ZZ4 crate engine. That was a 350. Okay. Um, so I had I had that motor in it. Okay. Too much force on the bearing, blew it up. You okay. Know, that's what these are for, you know. Kind of, <laughs> well, in here, like you said, it's a a five speed. Yeah, it's a five speed. See, look at that. He's driving the manual, man. He's saving the manuals. It's all analog. See, look at that. That's the way to go, man. See, in these cars, man. It's better off getting the manual, man. That's a true muscle car. And y'all, if y'all haven't seen my short, like we did start it up, and this thing sounds good, man. I can't even lie. Like this sounds really good. And I was sitting in his garage. I'm shocked he had it out. This is my first time seeing this car out in motion. <laughs> so it's nice. I think the worst time of the year is too hot. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we do it in the after afternoon, y'all. So y'all can see the sunset of everything, the mountains, as I say, the views on views. But it's the best time to do it. Um, so are these the factory wheels too, bro? Um, I don't think they're the factory wheels. I think they're reps. They did, you know, like, like bottom of the car. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, everything else, the wing. I mean, a lot of people ask about the wing. I put the wing on. That's, that came with that, with this, uh, with this car. Last of the, last of the F-body, uh, third gen Camaros. So what's your plans for this car? I said next time you see the car so people can know. Like what's your plans on like is it a new paint job? You're gonna wrap it, new wheels, you're gonna turn it to a donk. Like people wanna, you know, people wanna know. Like with these cars, you know, down south, they turn these cars into donks, you know. So I mean, but on the west coast they do it different. Like they uh, you know, they swing these cars, drift these cars. So like what's your plans with it? I think probably the biggest thing is to get back into the maintenance of kind of just like trying to either do the paint, wrap it. Um, there's some, some, some trim pieces, I'm gonna try to look real hard for it and try to just get the interior back to, to, to factory specs. Some of the other things are probably like under the motor, we can take a look at that. Yeah, let's pop the motor, yeah, let's see what the motor, the hood, I mean, let's see what it looks like. Cause these, these, um, headlights look good. I know these are not factory, uh, these joints look really good. Woo, look at that! Look at that, man. You know people are going to want a cold start to see. They want to make sure that you push it all the way up here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. But yeah, this joint uh, look good. So what, what motor is this for? Well, this people a, don't know. Yeah, so this is a small block Chevy 350. It's just, you know, your basic. Okay. Um, aftermarket. Um, I brought headers. Okay. Okay. Stock at all. Yeah, and then just you know, pull all the way back. And is this a factory uh like airbox? Yeah, factory airbox. Wow, okay, okay. Yeah, it just works better that way. 
good. And you say you had this for like uh eight years? Okay. 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 My man. <laughs> sure as hell with what I did. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, I have a lot of fun with it. You know, everything about it is just real analog. You know, there's no computer in it to, you know, kind of uh, slow you down or anything like that. You know, you get in there, you shift, you know, get all your shifts, you get really in control. I think mean, out of all the cars I've had, it's probably my favorite one. Dude, like, I think we're going to let him cold, uh, let's not a cold start. But we're going to let him, like, start this baby up because I know y'all want to see what this car sounds like, man, based on all the mods he has. So let's let him crank it up for us. <laughs> Look at that sitting at idle. <laughs> Look at that cam, like that cam, your cam sounds like mine, cause mine's just a subtle, but it sounds so good. It's not too bad, I don't think it's too loud, too rowdy. I think it's right where I need it to be. Is there, is there a reason why you didn't go with like the crazy chop? I know some people love like uh, chopping their cars where it got that sound like it's a drum, but yours is like mine, like subtle. It's not crazy waking up the families in the neighborhood early in the morning. It's like just right, but it still got that that chop there. Yeah, I think probably the biggest thing is like once you hit a certain level, a certain threshold, you uh -huh. gotta start you know upgrading the, the, the vacuum system. You gotta start upgrading fuel. Yeah. You gotta start looking into other things and try to mitigate you know other future problems. Yeah. So this was kind of like you know the top of the line I could go before I start tearing up the motor, and start doing other work. Yeah. If I start doing that, I might just put an LS in it or you know. See, that makes sense. That I'm makes sense. Wanted to keep yeah, and as you can see here, like, listen to that. That sounds really good. Did you upgrade the exhaust on here too, or this stock exhaust? Or um, yeah, I upgraded the exhaust too. It's a, um, it's not an X pipe. I think it's a Y pipe. So okay. Most of it diverts to the driver's side first, and then you know you get some exhaust over here. So you hear it more on the driver's side. Okay. And he got almost like a hundred thousand miles on here. That's that's not bad at all. And he's not... Are you selling this car? No, I'm not selling it. Even if you build it up in Mata, are you selling this car? No, I'm not selling it. <laughs> so this car is not for sale, y'all. Just in case, like, if you're going to build it or anything to get it to where he want to, if y'all like this, this car is not for sale. But I like the way this looks like. I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but it's, like, kind of like a bluish, like a teal look. But standing out here, even though the sun is going down, it's like a nice little, uh, it's green here, like how I'm looking at it, but uh, hopefully the camera's picking it up. Before we leave, then, like, give people your IG, man, so they can follow you, follow your build, your journey on this, because that's what people on my uh, page love to do, follow build. So, uh, go ahead and spell out your IG. I'm going to have it right on the screen, too, again, for them. Definitely. Uh, on Instagram, it's never late, N-E-V-U-H-L-8-187. Okay. All right, and that's, where, and that's where you can find them at, man. So, this whole video is dedicated to this car man and he gonna be checking it out like checking it out like as a like when he start building and doing this journey he gonna be looking at this on this video on his channel like dang man I came this far with this car man so I'm glad to be a part of it I'm glad that he allowed, to, uh, allowed me to review his car and he just like decided to come out man so I appreciate you I appreciate you never late for joining and chilling out with me this afternoon and that's going to wrap this video up man so if y'all like this video y'all know what to do hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video